Hey guys, today is going to be an exciting day in many ways. First of all, because we are going to harvest for the first time ever back at my farm. If you watch my spring videos, you may have known that we have five hectares of carrots here. Uh, it's romance, the, the seed. So it's a tough tough carrot and uh, I think it's going to yield pretty good and uh, very excited for the first time ever harvest back in my farm and the second reason is this one we did meet up with one of our local dealers at an happening this weekend and they gave us the opportunity to demo this 6120 M John Deere for a day and we are going to put it to work so I'm waiting for the guys here and we will put the pallet forks on the front and the back and see if we can handle roughly two tons on the front and two tons on the back. They say that they have been running butterfly mowers on this one so I expect it to be able to handle those boxes though even though it's, yeah, it's, it's two tons, uh, four tons together. Let's jump quickly in the cab here and have a quick look at it it's an M version so it doesn't come with any screens that are yeah you have one in the in the post there uh, yeah I had the auto power transmission it runs down to 10 meters per hour actually pretty impressive anyway yeah it's not it's not much much fuss and fancy stuff inside here it's uh, we got the hydraulics here, front loader, which it doesn't have, but I think we can put the front hydraulic and manage this. I need to teach myself how to use it. And uh, my plan is to teach my brother to drive the harvester for a while so I can test it out. And um, But firstly, Cosmin is going to take this and see what he thinks and try to tame this monster. And it also seems like it's going to be a beautiful day. We had tons of rain and it's actually Tuesday today and we haven't harvested since Friday when we harvested the bottom of the, the big field. That is now wet on the, on the surface so the carrots will sit there. Uh, they can grow more anyway so it, it's not, not a big issue but yeah, it concerns me a little bit about this rain. We got one day with no rain today and then it's going to rain again. So hopefully we'll get a period next week or the week after that where it's going to stay like this or yeah, even don't rain at least. And then we can probably harvest that field. But for now, we will harvest over there at my farm. And the first thing I want to do is to jump in the 516 and uh, pull off some small boxes uh, from the second field.
So this is what we harvested on the, the big field. I, I think you can see the carrots on the upper part remaining. It's standing water between the rows, so this will, as I said, sit for a while until it hopefully dries out. Now I will take the machine back home and teach my brother how to drive it and then I will jump into the jump here. Okay, so as you can see, it uh, did lift with no issue at all. Uh, but the only difference between this and the 516 is that this one has uh, only the mechanical the top link. Uh, on the 516, we use a hydraulic one, which seems like it isn't quite strong enough uh, to lift with no problem. It lifts, but. Uh, it, it takes a little bit yeah, practice or something. So everything isn't running quite after the plan today. Uh, I've spent some time uh, teaching my brother and then he noticed a, a leak. So the boys have been working on this leak on one of the cylinders, no um, engines that runs the tips of the harvester. And uh, I also spent a couple of hours with our dealer that showed up here and he showed me a little bit of the tractor and uh, put me through the screen and all this stuff. So, so we spent a few hours on that. And I'm pretty positive about this tractor. I, I really like it. Now there is a car behind me, which I want to... Oh, yeah, it is a little bit heavy. Yes, so yeah, I like the tractor. And I like the system that John Deere has. Uh, the only issue that is is uh, that the uh, tractor prices are pretty high right now. So I don't see us buying this one, but we, uh, we, we got a deal on the table if we want to take it. And uh, we'll think about it, but uh, I'm pretty sure we won't buy this. But uh, anyways, we have experienced it and uh, now we know how it runs. It comes, as I said, with the auto power transmission which is very familiar to us. We, we had a, have, uh, have had a couple of John Deere's before. 
and the last one we had uh, has had did have the auto power transmission, so it runs down to 10 meters per hour. I think I already said that. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll put the camera down now, uh, now and head over to the magazine and drop these boxes off. Okay, so that's my moment of fame. I've tried this tractor now, and uh, now I need to go back to my post as a also a driver again. It's been a fun experience, and uh, hopefully one day we'll own a John Deere again. But uh, until now, we need to cope with the, the fence, which is also a pretty good brand. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this genre as much as I did and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember to check out all of my other videos and remember to check out my Instagram.